You have 535 members of Congress, most of them safe districts. They don't have real competition, with few exceptions. And out there in the country, there's virtually nothing. And so what we're trying to show is that 1% or less of the citizens in each congressional district organized and having full-time staff and connecting one another, representing majority opinion on one area of change after another, can overcome the political and corporate powers. And there's a historical precedent for that all the time. But people have to be reminded of it. Every generation has to be reminded of it, that it only took a few people representing majority opinion in congressional districts to turn around the Congress, whether it's civil rights, whether it's women's right to vote, whether it's labor protections, whether it's consumer auto safety. Uh, and that lesson has to be taught again and again, especially in our schools. So now people are talking about a third party instead of the two-party system, but you're suggesting maybe parties are in general are irrelevant, perhaps we should be looking at issues? Yeah, so as my father once said uh, when uh, I asked him, should there be a third party, Dad, he said, well, I'll settle for a second, namely how similar the two parties are. And uh, it's up to the people to drive the issues. The people are the nourishers of fundamental serious content in election campaigns because left to their own devices, the candidates will simply dial for the same campaign cash and, uh, and uh, take a lot of serious issues like universal health care, like a higher minimum wage, like cracking down on corporate crime, completely off the table, undiscussable by both parties. Do you have any specific reflections on this particular presidential campaign? This is an all-time low. Uh, I don't think in American history there has been a lower level of vicious, trivial, ignorant, abusive dialogue between the candidates as if they were goaded by the commercial media and the Sunday talk shows, which have a conflict of interest. They're supposed to be conveying facts and truth and a broader way of civic values. Instead, they are reveling in this circus uh, and in this uh, uh, mockery of the democratic process because they can get higher ratings and more advertising revenue. Maybe it's like a rubber band, which you keep stretching. No, oh, that's okay. You keep stretching, and then it comes a time when it snaps. And once the American people arouse themselves, uh, watch out.